My name is Radhika Varma and I'm a clinical therapist at Vedish Counseling Centers. I work out of the Mississauga and Brampton office. My specialty is early childhood trauma. It's uh, very normal to feel hesitant to access help, to reach out for help when you're in distress. Um, most people struggle with that and worry about feeling that uh, someone will judge their pain, someone will think it's inconsequential. And uh, so it's really important that you try to get over that fear and just reach out. And I think that when you find a therapist that is a good fit for you, they can help you overcome your fear in just coming. And uh, most places that provide therapy can offer consultation prior to you coming in. So if just the initial distress of coming in is what's stopping you from getting help, please make the effort to connect. It's amazing to see how many people come to therapy, do not feel a connection with a therapist, and continue either coming or disappear from that therapy, believing that they were the ones who, um, there was something wrong with them. And that's not true. You know, working with a therapist is a human connection. It's important to have that connection and an alliance with a therapist. And it's really important to pay attention around um, how you are feeling when you're talking to them, if they listen to you, if they understand you, if they are, if they have the expertise to even help you, you can even judge that. But it's really important to have a good with, fit with your therapist because it's going to be the most important relationship that's going to lead the change that you're looking for. And, you know, we pay more attention to how our server gives us food at a restaurant than we do a therapist. And, you know, we need to also pay attention to the person who's going to help us make the biggest changes. Every client is unique. And what I enjoy the most about my clients is when we discover something in therapy and they agree with it and they leave the session kind of tentative feeling that they've they agree with it and or they're shocked by it or they're impacted by it but it's when they come back in the next session and something has happened something real has happened in their life some family member or friend or um, an interaction that they had really confirmed for them something that we discovered together in session and their excitement in not even waiting coming into the session and talking to me from the the meeting when I meet them in the front reception and telling me the most exciting thing happened to them. That to me is my favorite part. Um, when they've taken something that we have done in this little session and applied it or experienced it in real life. I think what my clients like most about me is my ability to connect with them. I, I think I'm personable and um, that very skill that I have in engaging with and making friends outside, I bring into connecting with my clients. So I'm very real, I'm authentic in my connection, I use humor, um, I'm, I joke around with my clients, I tease them in session and uh, you know I might even um, use sarcasm sometimes with them, you know. Um, and I think that, that that's what an honest connection is. I, I feel that, you know, sometimes clients know that they are making a poor choice. And so using humor to be like, you know, well, we're gonna deal with the consequences together is I think what is relatable about me. And I think that that's what I bring into my sessions. And I think that's what my clients like most about me. I think that um, as much as we'd like to provide a comfortable and a therapeutic space for clients, they are also very aware that they're coming to a therapist. And then there's a sense of expertise that they um, adhere to. And so sometimes just breaking the tension by introducing humor and infusing humor allows clients to also relax and feel that, you know, that what they may be doing and sometimes making known choices that are not so great for them is not something that 
is an be all end all decision that you know sometimes we're all human we make errors and sometimes we make choices that are not the best and that to be able to feel that i won't be giving them i won't be judgmental about that i won't be you know holding them against them and that possibly they can also trust me to tell me more things later and feel that there won't be judgment.